New tonight, we talk about families torn apart at the U.S.-Mexico border, but the heartache and pain extends far into our area, too. An Atlanta boxer ripped from his family is in the custody of ICE tonight. 11 Alive's Elwin Lopez spoke to his wife, who doesn't know when she'll see him again. Yeah. He did. Spanish remix. Yeah. An Atlanta boxer, Abel Aparicio, joined the pros last September and won his first title just two weeks ago. He even met his wife doing what he loves most. I used to see him like train and work out and I always had my eye on him when I started working there and then I started asking his friends about him and Terry and then Terry actually is the one who introduced us. Terry Moss is the owner of Buckhead Fight Club, where Aparicio has been training for the past six years. He's got an amazing ring presence. You know, he just looks like that Mexican fighter that every trainer wished they had. For more than 10 years, the boxer has lived his life in the shadows of America. Last week, the boxer found himself in a different kind of fight. When the cops pulled them over, they then asked for everybody's identification, license, whatever they had, and Abel didn't have any. Aparicio was taken in by Border Patrol during a traffic stop in Florida, but he wasn't driving, she says. He was in the back seat. I don't know if he's coming home. Nothing's guaranteed, you know? And um, he has his kids, obviously. It's just hard. And Aparicio is at a Miami detention center under ICE's custody. He's detained, his attorney says, because he's here illegally. His attorney tells me Aparicio has a criminal trespass conviction on his record from approximately 10 years ago. The legal steps are already in motion to remove him from the country, but he has a bond hearing on Friday. Ron. All right, thanks a lot, Owen.